Okay, ladies and gentlemen, what I want to do is I want to show you how to convert this angle to our decimal approximation, all right? And I just realized I don't have my calculator with me, my handy little iPhone, so I'm going to use that to help me uh, figure out this problem. So, um, what I have here is 2 degrees, 12 minutes, 130 seconds. So what exactly are your minutes and your seconds and your degrees? Well, remember, degrees is going to be our unit of measurement, all right? that we're going to use to measure our you know, an angle. And remember, there's 360 degrees and a full revolution, um, or a, as you can represent as a circle. So to use our increments, what we have is, well, remember, if you kind of think of, that's my computer, don't worry about it. So I have 2 degrees, 12 minutes, 130 seconds. Now, remember, when we look at integers, you know, we have, you know, we have, you know, one, and then one, and then you could go two, and then three, and then we can break them down by fractions, right? Well, one way we break up our degrees is breaking them up into minutes and seconds. Now, it's just like the minutes and seconds that you're thinking about is time, all right? As there are 60 minutes in one degree. So what I can write is 60 minutes equals, I don't know why I wrote like that, one degree. Then we could say there's going to be, for every, if there's 60 minutes in one degree, then there's going to be 60 seconds are equal to one um, minute. So 60 minutes equals one degree, 60 seconds equals one minute. So therefore, you can say that 300 and, or th sorry, 3,060 seconds equals I don't know why I keep on writing 10, equals one degree. So it's just like seconds, minutes, and hours, but we're using degrees, which is going to be our unit of measurement um, for our angles. So I have two degrees, 12 minutes, and 130 seconds. So to represent that, what we do is I need to figure out what the decimal approximation is there. So like I said, um, 60 minutes out of how many total minutes? So I could really... Sure, right, the 60 minutes equals one degree. So what I'm gonna do is, I could write this like uh, this, two degrees plus 12 out of 60 minutes plus 130 out of 3,600 seconds. Now, why do I do it like that? Well, think about it, like um, if you're gonna take Let's say I was going to write 2 degrees. Well, that's 2 degrees plus 0 minutes plus 0 seconds, right? So we put the number of minutes and seconds that we have over those numbers because 0 divided by 60 is 0 plus 0 divided by 3600 would be 0. So if I just wanted to say 2 degrees equals that, those are two equivalent statements, right? However, I don't have zero minutes or zero seconds. I actually have 12 minutes and 130 seconds. So how do I represent that? I put them over, um, I'm going to put them over, uh, over their 60 and 3600. So now what I'm going to do is I just represent my decimal approximation. So I have 2 degrees plus 12 um, divided by 60. You can divide that in. It's going to be 1 fifth. Uh, one fifth as your uh, proximal decimation will be, let's see, point, uh, point 0.2 or just point 0.2. Then we look at, uh, I am going to have to pull out my calculator here for the next one. And I have 130 divided by 3600 is going to equal, sorry, it's plus point 0.2 plus. 0 0.03611 dot dot dot. So when I look at this, as is a two degrees. So my final answer is going to be two. Sorry, two degrees plus. So 2.2361111. Um, degrees going on uh, repeating. So there we go, ladies and gentlemen. That's how. Jeez, two points, right? It's just 2.236111. Um, so there you go. That's how you uh, are going to figure out, approximate your answer um, for this ending solution. So just make sure you put it over 60 or 360 for your seconds and minutes, and then add them up together, 
And there's your answer. There you go. I hope it helped. If you have any questions, please make sure you comment down below. Thanks.